pediculosis infestation of lice is called pediculosis lice are ectoparasites they live on the body transmission is by close personal contact and contact with objects these are wingless insects and three kinds of flies infest humans we have pediculus humanus var corporis pediculus humanus var capitis thyrus pubis pediculus humanus var corporis is the body loss which is the largest then we have pediculus humanus var capitis which is the head loss thyrus pubis or pubic or the crab loss is the smallest loss they cause lice infestation or pediculosis Lice feed by piercing the skin and uh, by their claws they pierce the skin and inject irritating saliva and they suck the blood. These females lay around six eggs or nits per day. Eggs are called nits here. They hatch in eight to ten days and reach maturity in eighteen days. They are glued to the bases of the hair shaft. Incubation period of pediculosis is around thirty days before it fully infects. This is the nit or the egg of the head louse. Pediculosis capitis is the head uh, louse infestation. Uh, it is the most it most commonly seen in children, and girls are most affected here with long hair. Itching and secondary pyoderma can be the presenting features. Retro auricular area mostly, and the occipital region is involved. These ova which are very close to the scalp are viable. Uh, distal hair shaft will contain empty egg cases. Nits and casts need to be dif differentiated. Casts are nothing but they are the remnants of the inner root sheath. that encircle the hair the casts basically can be uh, moved across the hair shaft whereas uh, nits are fixed to the hair shaft that's how we differentiate they can be uh, moved across whereas uh, these are fixed so this is the pediculosis capitis picture pediculosis corporis is also called as vagabond disease which is the disease of the unclean uh, body lice here live uh, and lay nits on the seams of the clothing and comes to the skin surface only to feed so they will infect the skin only to come and feed on the skin surface pruritus leads to scratching copper colored macules reels lichenification and secondary infection and these are the vectors for relapsing fever trench fever and epidemic typhus as well so here you can see the vagabond disease strong being involved next is the pediculosis pubis which is also called as thyrus pubis also caused by crab louse infestation pubic region hairy areas of legs abdomen chest axilla arms eyelashes and scalp can be involved itching and crawling sensation is seen here it is transmitted by close sexual contact that's why you have to also screen for stds here other sexually transmitted diseases have to be screened for here diagnosis is by seeing black speck like bodies which is attached to the root of the hair at an angle also maculae cerulea which are nothing but uh, these are the gray blue macules which are uh, seen on the medial part of the thigh the groins you can see these macules because of altering blood pigments these are the nits on the eyelashes here is the black specks in the axilla the treatment of uh, pediculosis is by giving 1% permethrin rinse then gamma benzin hexachloride lotion or shampoo malothion and crotamidon linden can be used combined with metal or plastic combs after conditional usage oral clotrimoxazole oral ivermectin 400 microgram per kg can be used newer agents like spinosite 0.9% suspension isopropyl myristate 50% rinse dimethicone 4% benzyl alcohol 5% can be used 1% percent, uh, permethrin here uh, uh, permethrin shampoo is given and it is applied on the scalp for 10 minutes and washed this can be repeated after another week as well clothing and bedding needs to be washed simple laundering and ironing can be done permethrin melotion spray is used to disinfect the clothing as well eyelashes if it is involved then petrolatum thick layer is applied twice daily or fluorescein shaving of pubic hair is advised and you have to treat the sexual partner simultaneously in this pediculosis Next is Pedro's dermatitis. It is a specific form of acute inter-irritant contact dermatitis caused by contact with the vesicant chemical pederin here, which is contained in the body fluids of insects of the genus Pederis. It is also called as dermatitis linearis or blister beetle dermatitis because it is caused by the blister beetle. Etiology: The Pedro's dermatitis is because of the mucovitinous contact with pederin. which is a vesicant chemical uh, toxin a mite with two tetrahydropyrin ring found in the hemolymph it is present in the hemolymph of the beetles of the genus pederis so the hemolymph contains pederin and that causes this reaction here production of pederin relies on the activities of the endosymbiotic relationship within the within the pederis so there's pseudomonas relationship within the pederis adult females they produce the pederin whereas males and larva they just store the pederin they do not produce it Clinical features: Pederin is highly toxic and more potent than even cobra venom. There is no immediate result seen. After 12 to 36 hours, eczema is seen, which develops into blisters. 
Irritation crusting scaling can be seen for 2 to 3 weeks. Kissing lesions are characteristically seen here on the flexures in the elbow. Basically elbow flexures and thigh flexures you can see. Periobital dermatitis and keratoconjunctivitis are seen here. This is the eye involvement. This is called as nairobi. These are because of the transfer of the pigment of the vesicant toxin. And they heal in 10 to 12 days but post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. These are the blisters seen on the fingers here, on the hand. This is also the eczematous reaction because of Peter's dermatitis. Again here on the arm and this is the classical kissing lesion seen in the flexors of the elbow joint. These are the kissing lesions here. Treatment is with topical steroids, antibiotics. Immediately after contact it has to be washed with water and ice. Removing any decaying vegetation is important because they grow in the decaying vegetation. Sticky traps for the insects, glue boards, insect proof mesh, bagon and malathion sprays will help.